Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what the week ahead has in store for you, my scorpions. Let's take a look. What is your destiny card for the week ahead? This week you get... The star card, right? So this has been another active card this week. It's all about groups. It's all about group dynamics this week. Aligning with your people, finding your tribe, feeling like you find you found or find somewhere that you truly fit in. This is a feeling of belonging, right? This is the, the, your destiny card this week. Yes, you can be the secret squirrel Scorpio that you are, right? There's nothing wrong with that. And in fact, that will probably be celebrated. That air of mystery that you carry naturally about your person will be celebrated. You know, this is the week where you just get that sense of, you know what, yeah, these are my people. This is where I'm supposed to be. And not all of them will be in your immediate environment. Not all of them will be in your immediate vicinity because the star card represents Aquarius. So it can be the internet. It can be uh, online groups and troops. Um, it could be uh, a social gathering of some sort, but it's all about the group dynamic. It's about people that are on your wavelength, people that you really connect with. Your destiny card as well, in terms of the star card, suggests that there is something that is really, it's almost like you're just grateful for life this week. Do you know what I mean? Like you're just kind of like, you know what? Yeah, everything's falling into place and I just feel like, yeah, this is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm living my best life, <laughs> as they say. But it's just a really, really nice feeling that I get from you, uh, for you this week, should I say. So let's have a look at the context. Queen of Pentacles, right? So lucrative ideas could be making themselves known to you. Now, uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign female, so she would be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. And this is somebody that is steady, dependable, hardworking. She knows her stuff inside and out. She knows how to budget. But the thing about the Queen of Pentacles out of all of the queens, she knows how to increase the yield. She can give you more then, um, you know, she can turn a tenner into a, a hundred pounds, right? She can turn a hundred pounds into a thousand. She can turn a thousand into a hundred thousand. It's She's that kind of energy. She takes whatever you have and she grows it into more than it can, more than it started as, right? So there's something about your group dynamics this week that could potentially be very lucrative for you. It could be that you're rubbing shoulders with an earth sign female that gives you an idea. It could be that you're um, getting in touch with somebody or even just within the group the conversations that come up show you how to increase your money making potential for a very select few of you if you have any investments you could see a spike in it this one uh, this week which looks really really nice um, especially anything that you do online so you know anything speculative this is probably the last week that you'll have that kind of energy because we're going to a mercury retrograde the week after and i would caution what you know anything new uh, just because we are in a mercury shadow technically all right so keep that in mind but other than that yeah it looks like your finances go through an upswing but not necessarily like you're given money or you know given any abundance it feels more like a case of you have ideas or input that show you how you can grow your business how you can make more money how you can connect with more people there's something about this that is really fruitful going forward and i absolutely love that for you so let's have a look at your insight card and this week you get the Four of Swords, be sure to take rest, be sure to take moments to let these ideas or these, um, you know, new, not, not revel, yeah, to let these ideas percolate. Um, be sure to take rest because the Four of Swords always asks you to pause, right? It asks you, sorry, uh, it asks you to take a pause, it asks you to take a moment, it asks you to 
um, bring it down, just to ease it down, to enjoy your time more, to be more focused, to be more present. So when ideas pop up, uh, you know, once you've been out on a group dynamic or a group endeavor, or you've had like a social gathering, come away from it, take time, decompress, get back to yourself, and then you can go and do another one, right? It's just saying, be sure to protect your energy and also your physical vitality this week. All right, so with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know how it shapes up for you in the comments. Take care, and I'll see you soon.